Hello and welcome to PKR TV. On tonight's show, the fourth event from the recent High Stakes Championship. The $185 buy-in means we have only the best of the best on show, including Dutch sensation Barky Boy. He's looking to add another title to his incredible PKR record, but standing in his way are seven others, including the dangerous Marlin Man. Joining me to find out who takes down this title is Team Pro Scott Shelley. Well, what a treat. $185 buy-in. The cream of PKR, 95 runners, down, down to just nine. I believe this is, I guess this is one of the ones I missed being in Vegas. Yep, yep. Uh, this is June the 10th. Yeah, so exactly. Indeed. A couple of days ago, yeah. Yeah. That was annoying. Can you sort out your scheduling so I'm available to play all of them, please? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank no you. No problem. Well, we'll just put you in charge of scheduling, basically. God help us. Wow. Yeah. I feel like a master's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, here we go. Well, uh, chip leader Marlin, man, I have eulogized about this young man oh. before. He's a, an impressive young player. Uh, keep an eye on him. Doesn't surprise oh. me he's got the chip lead. Yeah, him, him and Barky Boy, the two names that ring a bell. Well, Consument also is well known, the Brit... Uh, Perhaps I not raised. not best known for his tournament exploits, but is uh, another top player. Here we go. Open from Dragon. I'm risen. Three bet from Marlin. We're going to have to get... We've just commentated on the main event, so we're going to have to now get, get used raised. to... Uh, 50 grand stacks again after seeing yeah. 3 million go well, in. We've just seen a 4 bet that didn't even cover a big blind in the last <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, all right. So um, a oh, move, man. a move from Dragon. Oh, we, wow. We can see it's not going to get through. And Marley Man this, knows this where it's blind on blind? Yeah, I like that. Uh, right. It's, well, Dragon has put a oh. third of his stack in. He's tried very hard to win that, the Hungarian, who is uh, the proud owner of... A prime time, we're, uh, prime time title, an open title, another open title. So he's got form, the lad. But, uh, yeah, uh, Engineers has got nice a gold hand. rush win. Two gold rush wins. But he's playing with the big boys now. So uh, Fold. Fold. let's see how he fares. Japs eye with the nines. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, but I'm going to have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear Scott is easily pleased people I'm immature like you know that. I know I'm 26 going on 17 <laughs> <sighs> I fold actually that's fold. pretty immature for a 17 year old <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Min Ray's from uh, no, sorry um, <laughs> Barky on the big well he's got 41 big blinds the question is what is the raise size? Raise. Well, he makes it 9250. Back on Jap size. He's only got 44k. He could peel, oh. and it wouldn't be the worst peel in the world, no, but he gets it in. in yeah. Wow. And this is a big pot. The flop. Wow, it's that's the end. Card. That is. No, the, oh not. my God, he's developed the gut shot. Here comes the river. <laughs> Barky wouldn't have worried about that. And that is dangerous. That is dangerous. We've got uh, two of the most aggressive players at the table with big chips and the rest. Wow, everyone else has got 25 bigs or less. Unbelievable. They are absolutely under it. That's right. Uh, Japside, by the way, picked <laughs> up uh, $879. Almost 5K for the win here, so not to be sniffed at at all. Um, this, as I said, part of the High Stakes Championship series. Get it in, Custard oh, Cream. Fold. Fold. Good girl. All right. Doesn't look like Fold. he's going to pick up a customer. Nah. It's uh, it's not too many Can't really afford chips this. to call, but as you say, yeah. 20 big blinds. If it's Barky tonight. or Marilyn, then yeah. it's, quite, it's, it's a speculative call. But yeah, but those chips are better Fold. put to good uh, use, shoving mm. with a worse hand than... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I mean. Yep. That's what I'm saying. If Barky yep. boys in the big, then yeah, you can, you can give them a spin, but... Okay. Seven remain, and it is a slow stack, so uh, no surprise that uh, that there is a. There's certainly going to be a little bit of play later on once one or two of the shorties are out. Yeah, and these blinds going up super slow. 
And these 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 guys started with five k. So uh, fold. Getting here with twenty or thirty k is kind of strange, but uh, <clears throat> Barkey got the chip lead, got a half decent oh, hand, but he passes. <laughs> too many shorties who can shove on you, and then you're committed. Yeah. I suppose don't want to be doubling fold, too many of them up. In. Yeah, it's also it's always good when you're owning a hand just to look around, yep. see the size of the stacks. You don't want to be committed in. Yeah, six bigs left to call for Marlin. It's quite close. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have minded either way. I really wouldn't have minded either way. I think it's it's small enough that you can you're not too bothered if you double them up here. Right. But it's just jack six of diamonds, just like mm. okay. If you had jack eight of diamonds, I think it's cool. Right. Or even jack seven. Are there metagame considerations as well sometimes in terms of how many are left and how the table's playing at this exact point? Do you want it to continue this way, or is it better for you to knock out one of the shorties? That kind of thing are you thinking about as well? Or is it just a I pure if kind I'm of like... If I'm in Barking Boy's spot here, I'm trying to pick off the shorties one by one here, okay, really, right. and just apply pressure to them. Okay. But again, not trying to do anything silly or spewy. Right. Yeah. Seven. You'd imagine him and Marlin Man are going to stay out of each other's ways. Just because there's no point unless they corner each other with a big hand v big hand. You're not going to see them getting all fancy dancy. Yeah, that's right. Barky Boy's best result. He's won the PKR 500 for seven and a half grand. No surprise, really. He's got two Sunday high roller victories, three Sunday high roller victories, would you believe? Two main event titles back to back. Yeah. Ridiculous, really. Star in the making. Definitely one of the better tournament players on PKR by a long way. Yeah. Custard Cream, uh, short, but keeps getting these hands that he can uh, move in quite easily with. All in. I fold. Does so again. Yeah, she's not going to be able to move with it, but I think it's a must do. Uh, well, and finally run into her hand. Well, Consumment. Consumment. Yeah. It's, hasn't got it's, much, it's but... It's still a further stat, but I think he's going to make the call here. He's got to realise that they're shoving worse, much worse than this. Oh. Wow, he passes. A bit of a surprise there. Yeah, no, I, I, I can see why he did, but he shouldn't. Okay, fair you enough. You see what I mean? Yeah, I do, I do. I think he just doesn't want to put a third of his stack in there and be like on a coin flip sort of situation. Indeed, yeah. And look at this. All of these guys uh got to be getting those stacks in. No, it doesn't look like there are any antis. No, there must be. There must be some antis. Let's have a little look and see in the next hand. If we get another hand. Oh, there we go. 1,400. Oh, the 1,400 is the ante, so yeah. 200. So, uh, yeah, I'm you, you, you can't really afford to be hanging around too long. Uh, blessed relief for uh, Nos F9, who gets a, sh a very nice hand. Probably would have just been raised to call off there. Okay. <laughs> just, I think with 16 bigs, I probably shoved. Oh 20, I think it's just scaring them off. But actually, this you could actually scare off the ace jack here. Yeah. Consument has a, has a real problem. Yeah. And uh, gets They're gonna away. Get Barky's going to find the call here. I don't think he's going to be over the moon about it. I fold. Passes. Wow. Passes. I think fig he figures maybe uh, the, the amount of time you're up against eight, sevens, or sixes is slim to none there. Quite. Possibly. I wouldn't say slim to none, but okay. it's a lot less than all the, the other hands. Yeah, yeah, for right. sure. That's but I nice, just perhaps that's an example of how Barky Boy's oh, route man. to the last two or three here is that's the way he wanna get he wants to get to the last two or three. I here. made the call there with his stack. I Bold. Bold. I think it's, Barky. it's Barky, just like 2% think... or less that he's beat. Right. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Still, 20 bigs. Is, 20 bigs is something you have to think about, and Barky didn't think too long about it. And he actually has hardly... I mean, he might he might play with a player a lot and knows right, that they're right, right. literally not doing that without a <laughs> good hand. Old. Yeah. And I tell you what, Barky has passed a lot of opportunities that a chip leader could yeah. have taken to put a little bit of pressure on here. So he's waiting. Obviously, he's yeah. waiting for, you know, five-handed, four-handed, that kind of zone. This, this is a good oh, shove, the king nine. It's unfortunately... There you go. Big Blind had ten bigs, found an ace, but the king nine's got there. Oh, no. yeah. Well, custard Two creams... Outs. This is the river. Yeah, I mean, Custard Cream's been under it from the word go, yeah. really. And, uh, Pretty standard, that you know, last picked hand. up a few hands, but no callers. And, and uh, <laughs> unfortunately, that is the end of the road. And uh, what does it mean? That's 1,055. It's pretty Fold. good, but we're six way. Fold. Game. Raise. puts in the min raise. I can't. Not for flats with a short stack. That should be a shove. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're going from from probably right. winning the hand uncontested to... Fold. Well, well, not only have you 
You've induced a squeeze without meaning yeah. to. Oh, well, he's got a bit more than he did. Oh. But <laughs> okay. He's shown it as well. Did he show pocket eights? Wow. Mm. Why would you show pocket eights in that spot? Give me one supporting reason why you would. Because you're showing that you're calling get... and not three betting. So that when you three bet, you're getting respect for bigger than pocket eights. Yeah. And you probably will have better than pocket eights. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, that's unusual, but... Yes, uh... I'm not a fan of <laughs> any of that, really. Fold. Yeah, off a 37k Fold. stack. That is unusual. No, no, it wasn't 37. Yeah, because they, they had 33 the after they called... They, pocket eights had 37k and called 4k. It showed that they had 60k. When it got back to them. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. I'm all in. My bad. No, it's still pretty same um, scenario. Dragon doesn't fancy a difficult life, so gets the 21 bigs in. Desperately hoping not to. He's going to get a call. Oh, dear. Well, the call ace, quicker. The ace is live. consummate has got 21 go. bigs as well. Oh, yeah, um, this is the end for someone. <coughs> oh, double time. gutter. Yeah, deuce is good. Six is good. And here's the river. Ace is good. None appear. Yeah, well, Dragon, uh, well, he shoved 21 bigs from the button. I don't suppose you can be passing the ace on the button there. Get ready? Nah, yeah. I would have probably... 21 bigs. I'd probably yeah. min raise fold, okay. just the way the table's been playing. All right, well, uh, I don't mind it too much. I fold. Dragon was just... I mean, you're going to be unlucky to run I mean, into yes. a hand there. but uh, And he was unlucky too. Dragon picks up 12.30 for sixth place. Boo! Uh, what a life for Marlin, man. Yeah, seems like a nice little spot here for him. He's thinking about what size to make it. I raise. Goes for the little mini raise. Nice. It kind of looks like the chip leader applying a little a bit, bit of, of pressure, pressure in position. position. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lovely. It is, and it is a good straight. Um, it just feels to us like that's going to induce something from Nosfer. Yeah. And it's. But feels, he might peel. I feel like, yeah. Wow, he's gonna he peel, peels. He peels. Which Marlin's not going to be happy about, pop. but it's just. I'm going to check. Well, it feels like Marlin's pot still. Yeah, for sure. Advantage of position. He can he can make it small as well. Wow, well. he he checks and they've both got the flush draw. And you know what? Check. Wow, uh, Nosfer checks again. Hard to see how Marlin could bet this and be believed for a yeah, credible I'd hand. Check, I'd check back. Okay, let's take a look. He does check. See the river. Blank river. Interesting. Check. If Nos Nosfer's checked three streets, which is uh, a little unusual, but perhaps because of the twenty-five bigs stack size. Yeah, his hand could be good. I mean, Marlin can bet. bet the queen. I mean, it's a weird bet. It is a kind of a weird bet, isn't it? But I, I guess mean, he's hoping to get like maybe pocket, Nosfer's got pocket sixes or pocket deuces or something. <laughs> yeah. But, well, the well, hand goes to Marlin, but strange that it reached the river. Mm. I mean, it's not so strange that it reached the river, okay. I don't think. But it's strange that he bet the river. I right. think. I think just checking back there. Do you think? Do you think there was an opportunity for Nosfer nine to perhaps try and win that on pot? the turn when they check the turn? It's over for them, okay. pretty much. I think. They had to check the turn or even lead the flop. Mm. I think Marlin Man has, like, two or three times now has shown that he is taking the low variance route to victory here. All in. This is a tricky spot. Fold. Yeah. <laughs> Fold. Quickly passes and... uh Don't mind that. Yeah, not the most aggressive, the Greek. Prefers to keep his powder dry. Consumer took a little while to call earlier Fold. on with the jacks and definitely gets out of the way there. And Barky, we've seen Fold. almost none of, which is really surprising. Barky and Marlin, the two most aggressive players at the table, have been, you know, like, like their 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 bet frequency is unbelievably low, really, yeah. considering that they are they could dominate here. Very surprising. Do you think perhaps the because the two of them are at this final table together, they're looking at each other, thinking, Fold. should I break out just yet? Maybe they'll, maybe fireworks will ensue once a couple of the others are knocked yeah, off. Yeah, I think it's going to be once you get three, four-handed, <coughs> games will start to open up a bit more. Uh, Barkey blind on blind. King high, we would expect a little open. All in. Jams, raise quick and must have a short stack, we'd assume. Yeah. And pass is so quick we don't even get to see the hand, and that is the short stack. 27k. 
It's getting towards desperate times now. And of course, each, uh, if you're talking M, that M is coming round very quick yeah. now that we're five way. Yeah, it's about 10k every five hands. Yeah. Is that ready? New hand. <clears throat> Marlin, up there with the chip lead alongside Barky. Hopes, I'm raising. Hope someone will do something silly, but it just doesn't feel like that kind of table today, does it? No. The dynamic no is just really not there. Out of line. Everyone's being, a, not everyone, but I a fold. lot of people, only mistakes people are making are passive mistakes, oh, not aggressive yeah. mistakes. Yeah. I call. Yeah, Race Quick has waited for his spot. Yeah, that's not a mistake yeah. either. I think they have to get it in with 10 bigs there. Oh, They're yeah. Playing five handed. <laughs> You'd imagine so. Yeah. Uh, dead on the flop, <clears throat> or almost dead on yeah, the flop. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Uh, Race Quick gets $1,406. Uh, and that leaves four, Greek, Brit, Dutchman, and German. And uh, all of them have got some decent results here, but uh, none better than Barky Boy. Wait, <laughs> I fold. <laughs> fold. Well, Consumer has been asked one or two cool. interesting questions. He defends here. Let's see the flop. <laughs> And a fantastic spot for him. Mm. Check. Certainly good enough to I think bet. to know that he's ahead here. And he can just give Barky Boy the lead. Yeah, I call. And he does so. Yeah, I'm check call mode here. What does Barky Boy think his opponent's got check. at this stage? Is he still betting for that? Barky Boy still feels like, you know, yeah. he he's, can be ahead. He could have a lot of nines. He could have a lot of ace highs. He could have jack tens. He, he, he could be up against tens. the queen. At, at what point do you pot control? I mean, these are small bets here. This is like oh, heart, less cool. than half pot. Uh, if my opponent river? chose to raise there, I would have put him on a queen. Okay. I think just... And Barky uh, Boy, checked. is it three streets of value with it this kind of hand? It, it is, is for me. It is for me, yeah. Right. It's unfortunate for him, really. What's the pot 42? Mm. I'm probably betting about 18,000, 20,000. All right, well, consummate... Uh, I think both I both bet. of these guys are CL at eighteen thousand. Both of these guys have played it heads. just right. Consummate will wait a little while. It's uh cool quick. It's not that difficult. Yeah. Unless yeah. he's thinking of raising, but it'd be a bit of a weird race. It sure would. But it should be an easy call here. There you go. Yeah. Cool. yeah, he makes the call and bark you. I guess basically that's the that's the only hand that after Barky Boyd bets all the way and sees his opponent well, tanking, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna almost feel like that was a nit roll. Yeah, like, yeah, it is a bit of a nit roll. That's why I said call quicker. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be surprised to see Ace-9 yeah. there, I think. He thought he had the best hand the whole way. Well, and he didn't get three bet pre either, so yeah. he, he'll be yeah, a little bit Yeah, but I don't think surprised. Ace-9 three bets, unless they're Full. short. Well, or... I think I know I could name you five Full. players on PKR who four way at this stage in the, at this tournament would definitely three bet Ace-9 pre, but none of them are at this table. Depends on the stack size, though. Mm, oh, it depends. It does. I know. I know, but I just think that... Uh, None of these guys have really uh, oh, have yeah. stepped okay, up that gear it. just yet. There you go. Here's the flop. Well, well applying the pressure. Uh, Nosfer's never quite had the hands or the situations the river. to double up, but he has done. Question is, what do you do from here? Press on. Yeah, and, uh, well, the first reversal for Barky, well... Well, I suppose... Yeah, sta you, stack's on that um, shallow now, so you should see a bit more play. People starting to open up a bit. Yeah. Some big parts. Well, there's, <laughs> there's 5K in the middle. Consumer's okay, now got I'll a stack. Raise. He raises a bit. Barky. Look, it will be interesting now. This is the first time he's not been near the chip lead yeah. and kind of protected that raise. lead a little. Yeah, now he's going after it, and Consumer's got... He's got the green light. He can. He's the one who can now apply okay. the pressure. Oh, yes, cool. he does. Nice, nicely done. Yeah, love it. And really, everything was perfect. There was Barky's free bet range. There is like <laughs> every two cards in the deck for <laughs> yeah, that yeah. stack size. He yeah. had like thirty or bigs, which is like okay. Well, I can I can afford to free bet fold here. Yeah, I'm in position. Heads up. Yeah, didn't put off consummate one bit, and that's fold. nice. I mean, that could be the springboard fold. now. The Germans got some chips together. Uh, Barky Boy's going to be desperate to make some money here. Having a little think. Yeah, and Nosfer's kind of unlucky here. Oh, wow, wow. wow. That's me all in. Well, there he is go. lucky instead. Let's wow. See the total cooler. Yeah. Barky's going to need a 10. 10 only. 
Let's see the river. No, it's not. It's not for who stands yeah. up and then celebrates. Oh. And uh, Barky is the one who departs. Yeah, surprisingly, but <coughs> did nothing wrong. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, well, no, sorry, my bad, my bad. Oh. A little premature there. He's got to be ridiculous short, though. <sighs> Soon find out. Yeah, Marlin gets out of the way. We've seen oh. nothing of Marlin uh, over the last I'm few all hands. In. Uh, yeah, he had two bigs. <laughs> well, is there a way back? He needs a jack or a five. Jack or a five or a nine to chop? This is the no. River. No, and that is the end of the legendary Dutchman. And, uh, well, 196th final table for him will not result in a win. $1,670. Uh, he'll be disappointed with that result. Consument Marley Man and Nos for nine. I raise. All eyes now on Marley Man, really. He's he comes to flop. done what he needed to do to get to the last three, but what have these two got to say about it? I Bottom bet. set for Nos for. Wow. What a great spot off. here. He's yeah. in position. Oh, even better spot now. He can well, just. Although yeah. His opponent's opened up the world, <laughs> but his, his opponent's not folding at least. Well, he's a three to one favourite. The pot's not huge yet. Okay, I bet. Boom. That's a decent sized bet. 21k. Has he got the stones to just flat call again? I, I mean, we can see if he puts. Yeah, well. I don't see. There's no way that Consument can. Mm. I mean, in a way, Consument's looking at that. Mm. That kind of starts alarm bells ringing, yeah. doesn't it? But you've got too much equity, haven't you? Yeah, it's it's a really tricky spot. I think I would have preferred Nosev just to shove oh, with his fours rather than right. make a raise. It looks weaker. Oh, yeah, I mean, and Consument. In a way, Consument won't be surprised to see that he's behind there. Yeah, I think he would have called quicker if he shoved the turn. It was right. just the way he's like raised, but it looks like he's committed. It's, but yeah, you got you got top pair gut shot and second that flush draw. That's right. You uh, don't well, want to really fold off. Yeah, them. and that's the end. Uh, third place for Consument, who uh, played pretty good till that point, two thousand two hundred and eighty-five dollars. But it is Marlin Man came in with a chip lead and has navigated his way slyly, without too much trouble, to heads up. The flop. But it's Nos for nine, who's okay, just a uh, couple of great spots in the last kind of ten minutes, and uh, well, yeah, he's, he's found the hand when it mattered and <coughs> held up. Good flop here, though, for Marlin. You've yeah. got to imagine he's going to win this pot of a check raise. Nos for nine. Interesting to see how he approaches heads up with the chip lead. But I Mar bet. Marlin will fancy this. He'll fancy this a lot, this heads up match. Oh, made the flat <laughs> instead and turns okay, gin. Yeah, and opens up tons for... Jack of spades would have wow. been sick. Yeah, it would have done. But uh, that opened enough for Nos, who takes the free card. Okay, and week. then, uh, wow, Marlin's played this super snug. Yep. And uh, are we going to see a raise here? You would imagine oh, so. Oh, yes. Imagine. The ace of spades presumably bets the turn, so you can't... You can't worry too much about well, that. Well, I mean, it's not even that. It's your heads up as well. You can't be right. afraid when you haven't okay. got the nuts every hand. You've got, to, you've got to get value from your hands. I'd have probably made it a little bit more, yeah. like 35k. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, he makes uh, 40k there. And that's handy. That evens things up a little. And these two guys are going to be pretty close now. You do fancy Marlin Man out of the two, but he's the but he hasn't been getting the hands no like Nos for nine. Here we go. The Greek opens with King High. I call. Marlin chooses to flat. I mean, it's just the low variance way of doing things. And it's I been check. working so far. He's wow. Could get it in drawing dead here though. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't mind the flap, just because they're not that um, they're quite deep. So wow. it's, you want a free bet and then start clicking it back with okay. H7. But well, that's a disastrous turn. Absolutely disastrous. Yeah, it's it's I pretty bet. damn sick that he's gonna be betting and getting it in drawing dead, I you'd raise. imagine. Yeah, yeah Nos was just, uh, it, it's just, it, it's all kind of played out nicely for him, really. Oh, yeah. You, you can't cool. complain about Here that, you know. You, you do what you can when the f yeah. when the decks hit you in the face. For sure. And, uh, well, this is going to be a nice win for Nos for nine. The the Greek, well, he said... Oh, wow, it might not be. He could be check. You don't think he's check calling okay, here, do you? Sure wow. Wow, uh, the check call, I, I would be surprised. Marley Man, he's thinking, he's thinking call or raise. 
And this actually, in the scheme of things, <laughs> is absolutely crucial decision. Oh, he's going to throw up when he shoves on him. Oh, yeah, he absolutely is. Because he's never doing this with the... Surely he's not doing that. With the worst flush. Oh, maybe he will do it at the Queen of Clubs. But now he's tanking. Nos for nine is tanking. Wow. Uh, Marley Man can't really get away now. I mean... Okay, all in. There it is. The decision's been oh. made and he snaps instantly. Yeah, he knew it. Yeah. Oh, and that's the tournament. Marlin comes second. Nos for nine. Well, he wins yes. uh, oh, a, a, the on, biggest win on. of his PKR yes. career. $4,921 yes. and a high-stakes championship crown. Well, not the most uh, explosive or fascinating final table, that one, but, you know, we can't get what we want every single time. Uh, Marlin Man and Barky Boy, the two guys who we favoured, perhaps, to fight out the finish, both of them took a kind of a surprise, for me anyway, a surprisingly passive line uh, in terms of pot control all the way through that final table. And in fact, everyone did that. Is there perhaps a missed opportunity there for someone, either of those two or anyone else, to have taken it by the scruff of the neck? Yeah, I mean, on the final table, you usually find someone taking initiative and trying to open up a bunch of parts and picking up as much dead money as possible. But sometimes you find it might have been that they have history on the final, uh, the final two tables or just before we caught the action where people are shoving, people are not afraid to get their chips in and they're just tightening up. Yeah, well, uh, we shouldn't uh, let that in, in any way take the shine off uh, Nos for Nine's victory. 4,921 bucks. Uh, awesome work indeed. So congratulations to the Greek champion. From me and Scott, we'll see you next time.